I bought this book, Vogue's Book of Etiquette and Good Manners. So I love etiquette books. I found this book at the library and I loved it so much because I love etiquette books. And so I decided to purchase it. Actually, I purchased two because I'm one of those people who purchase two items. Just imagine looking at all of these different chapters that are in this book, 17 chapters to be exact, and 715 or 700 plus pages. I often hear conversations about what was a woman's work in traditional times, in like the 1950s. Imagine that women during the 1960s and older had to understand all of these different types of etiquette and rules, how to manage a household, how to furnish a house, how to entertain, how to correspond, how to do just about a lot of things in this book. And what I don't see a lot of is the men's role in that. So think about that. Women had to do and manage all of this protocol, all of this etiquette, this whole entire thing on how to just manage a household. I think that's where the disconnect is sometimes between men and women. There's a lack of understanding of the full magnitude and therefore a dismissal of what it actually takes to have been a woman during this time. When I read it during this time frame now, which is the only time frame that I can read it, I am exhausted just looking through the different chapters and the different etiquettes and, and manners and, and good manners that one has to have. And can you imagine this was how things had to be? This is a lot and there is no way to manage all of these things now without any help. That is impossible. On top of all of the changes that have happened in society, there is a lot more to manage now than there ever was back then. And that is not going to change because the world has changed.